What can a woman offer in a relationship is definitely a hot topic for all relationship groups across the internet. Now, many men are asking, what do you bring to the table that has value? So let's talk about it. Ooh, wait, yes, that's, t- <laughs> you know, I, I, of course, being online, I go through a lot of relationship groups, have conversations there. But Joe, we're going to get into that today. Thanks for joining us, Building Healthy Relationships. Frankie Rochelle in the building. Hey, we may not always tell you what you want to hear. But we are sharing best practices that we've seen along our 22 years in marriage that have worked for us and other couples. So let's get into it. And I know today's post comes from more of a video reaction that ate at the table. That's a hot video right now online. Mm -hmm. What you got for us? Go ahead and kind of pull some of the quotes from there. Okay, so on uh, a show called Eight at the Table, the question was asked, what do women bring to the table? And this is the response of one of the hosts. Uh, She says, what I do is I make that house that you pay for a home, that mortgage that you pay for. I make that house a home. I cook the meals and I'm washing clothes. Now, another young brother who's actually on the show as well. His response was what you're bringing to the table is a service that can be paid for versus what a man has to bring to the table for your life. You can't buy somebody to buy you a home. I can buy somebody to cook and clean for my house. I can't buy a person to come give me a house, give me a car, or take care of me. Hmm. Interesting. So, what I mean, what are what are your thoughts there? And and, and kind of given substance, the conversation really revolved around kind of that that city girl, Megan The Stallion, Cardi B type of mm-hmm. mindset, right. where a lot of brothers feel like women choose men based on finances. Mm-hmm. And they think financially, like one of his quotes was the fact that a lot of women think in the dating realm with a financial picker, for, kind of for lack of better words. Yeah. And they often fail. But w- what do you think of there? Uh, you know, gosh, if, if you really want uh, and I think a lot of the times a lot of men don't even know what they want a woman to bring to the table. So in this scenario, maturity uh, plays a big part in this whole thing. The statement is not meant to um, echo the ever advised mantra that maturity is important. But uh, in this scenario, it, it's it's uh, it's a big deal. It's a very big deal. And if you want a woman to walk into a relationship with a specific list of things that she has to bring to the table, then are you really looking for a relationship or are you looking for somebody to come in and help you? Yeah. I mean, now I'm going to kind of piggyback off of your, your maturity comment. I think we would be failing any one watching us, any young couple or a young man, young woman looking to get into a relationship. Maturity says that love can't take care of everything. Love is a major thing in relationships. Don't get me wrong, Yeah. but you got to have your stuff together. You don't, you don't want to walk into a relationship where your money ain't together you can't handle your household and a lot of women i I get the fact that they they want a man who can hold the house down exactly so some of the key things that i would suggest or 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 recommend like you said maturity Mm -hmm. um some things that we respect as men women that are open not trying to hide or 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 trying to um for lack of better words scheme on things be open that ideal partner isn't someone who always has walls up and they're willing to be vulnerable with you Hmm. somebody who's committed to you honesty integrity those are the things that when you bring those to the table that's a great start those can't be bought those can't those can't be purchased now if if brother man is saying basically you know i want you to bring uh money or or whatever I, i i don't know that Speaking from my perspective, I was taught a long time ago, be able to take care of your house, take care of your wife, whether she work or not. I know that's old school. I know things have changed. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to bringing another person into your life, I don't want to say it's like having a child. But if you can't afford to bring someone into your life and not be dependent on them when it comes to the materialistic things, that's going to lead to a problem downstream i mean what are you thinking of course it is if you want a woman to walk into this situation and have every single thing everything every i dot i'm sorry every i dotted and every x crossed then why does she need your table 
I don't, I, you know, if I got all my ish together, baby, I don't need your table. I, I, I have my own t to sit at and enjoy without the extra added BS. So when it comes to all of these things, empathy, affection, a sense of humor, understanding, respect, and independence, those things you cannot buy from anybody. Tr you can trust somebody you can trust, somebody who's loyal. Go out there and buy your amenities, buy your maids, buy your cooks, buy your cleans. But can you trust them to just come in and clean and do what they got to do without robbing your ass blind and going home? Maybe not. Well, we'll see. And, and here's the question that I have for you and, and for you as you're watching. And, and if you're looking for, for that perfect someone, um, yes, materialistic things are a big part. Don't we can sit here and say, I don't need you. I don't need you for this. But a, a lot of one of the main reasons we get into relationships are to help each other in, in some capacity and physical materialistic things are things that come into play so do you think that it's wrong for men to question what a woman brings to the table in this manner i think it is i won't say it's 100 percent wrong but when you are courting someone when you are dating a woman that you are very interested it you know off top when you're courting a woman if you want to date her or not you should already know what this woman has to offer before we even get to that point of the table so i think in a way it's a bit rude to kind of ask a woman well if we're gonna be together what are you bringing to the table i think there is a, a very uh there is a much more mature way to get to that without this way of doing it as this young man was doing it if we're going to be together, if we're going to make this thing work, we know we want to be together. We know we love each other. Then let's come together and communicate and talk about what we are, what we, what we both have, how we can put it together, make more and make it work. But what would you say to some, uh, once again, uh, that, that, that city girl type of mindset, Megan, the stallion, pay me, break me off. I want to get flued. Out. That's a real thing. It is. And, and, and a lot of fellas are just frankly, tired of it so they so, want to so so they're tired of the whole megan the stallion and city girls mentality what, what, what i'm saying what i'm going with this is when when you're treated like you need to bring cars houses it, that that's a lot of stress in today's world for men mm -hmm. so a lot of women make it seem a lot of and i don't want to say a lot of women a lot of mainstream media makes mm -hmm. it seem like you can't have a woman unless you balling out of control, buying her a house, buying her a car, doing this, that or the other. Mm -hmm. And now it's a big deal when men are pushing back by saying, well, OK, if you want me to do all this, what are you bringing to the table? So sisters have been able to have that conversation for years, right. if not centuries. Well, men need to do this, this, this and this. And now that it's being questioned, it's becoming a problem. Right. So I, I do get the whole material. I do get women want a man that can come into their life and when when the chips are when the chips are down when everything's out the window he can hold it down for her. Mm -hmm. That's understandable, but beyond sex and whatever else, what what do you what bring? You Those are some of the key things. That's that's why I'm trying to communicate that as men we need a best friend. That's the key. We're we're, we're so focused on pushing finance and, and sex and, and image that we forget that if I don't like you, I can't be with you. And that's a, that's the thing. If we don't plan on being together, if we don't plan on being together for the long haul, why the hell are you asking me what what do I bring to the table? The table conversation don't even matter until we figure out. If we are going to be serious, if we getting ready to walk down the aisle, I got to plan a wedding, all that good stuff. You don't have the right to ask me what I'm bringing to the table. If you don't plan on wifing me up, don't even bring that up. Shit. Well, I mean, I, and, and I, I, to counter, I, I kind of disagree with you to a certain point. Realistically, at the end of the day, courtship is key. Mm -hmm. we, we, we focus so much on rushing to have sex, rushing to get couple gold up, showing, changing our, 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 our relationship statuses that we forget that relationships take time. Mm -hmm. You got these brothers online talking about if she ain't having sex by the third date. You got a dumper. No. The first. <laughs> third. Things take time. Just because you can have sex with someone, just because y'all y'all go out on a vacation, don't mean y'all are meant to be together. It don't. Take time. 
build a relationship, mm-hmm. work on that friendship first, that's what you should bring to the table.